hello guys you're welcome to the channel and i am your agribusiness hustler right here now guess what somewhere around a year or two ago i used a space in front of my maize drying factory to do tomato farms this space is like quarter an acre right it's just one plot and this year this season we have decided to use it for something else like i keep telling you if you have a space if you have a space of land don't let it lie idle there is no there it's there is no excuse you know for keeping your 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 land idle keeping your farmland idle for you know in such a way that it is not doing anything beneficial right so today we came to mold to put up the mold as you can see we came to put up you know the mold and in few days you'll be coming to plant the cassava okay we are doing cassava farm this time around okay we are not doing tomatoes or any other vegetable but we are doing cassava I will mean, plant some maize in between, you know, for the for the house, right? Something small. But this cassava that we are going to plant here, it will not just be for home use or something. We are going to, you know, make sure that we we, we give you all the experiments, you know, all, all the steps that goes into cassava farming. Especially if your land is not that big, you know, it's not that commercial size, like 10, 20 acres. Of land you have just a plot two plots you know at your at your backyard that you want to use it for cassava you know you have the information here on Ashco TV to you know um, follow suit and you know uh, do the same thing right so it's like that the land is quite big because it's like 90 by 100 feet and you know it was able to uh, um, take quite a number of molds okay and the next video that has to do with this particular project will be when we are planting the cassava i'll show you my our cassava sticks in a bit yes so this is our cassava sticks you know we brought them last week sunday you know and this is a very healthy cassava okay i don't know the you know the variety of cassava it is by from where we got it from it was a very it, it produced a very good yield and very good tubers right so in 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 like a week no today is actually thursday on sunday we'll be here or over the weekend we'll be here to do what to plant it and whatever the results will be whatever the planting process will be I'll make sure that I, I leave, you know, that um, contents also here for you to see. Thank you very much, you know, for always being part of agribusiness. Anything that has to do with agribusiness, your interest in agribusiness, you know, I know that if you are still, it's it's a good thing that you have a passion for agribusiness. You know, maybe you're not planting anything now. Maybe you're not planting anything now, but. For having the passion for agribusiness, it means that the least chance you will get, you do what you put it into use. You you try to plant something and you try to grow something. All right. So until we meet in the next one, as you know, my name is Yawa Simpi Sachere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. And as far as this planting has to do and cassava farming has to do with agribusiness, you'll be here. To represent to bring you the growth of this particular project right as you can see these molds are very beautiful beautiful molds right okay all right so see you in the next one peace out